Hey all, Russ here, RVR TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're leaving the Lake Powell campground here. It was peaceful, quiet, wasn't bad. Everybody's talking about the low water levels, and my goodness. Went back down to the gift shop store, country store, where you check in. Spent a little time last night, did a load of clothes and stuff, and man, everyone's talking about it. And how they're sacrificing Lake Mead to save Lake Powell. They're going to maintain the water level here so the power doesn't go out. I mean, it's quite a big story. Quite a few campers here. A little pricey to stay here, too. I don't think I'd do it again. Not for what they want. But it was still worth it to have the hookups. Because I had air conditioning. Because it is hot as a pistol here. Alright, well, we're going to wander through. I thought we'd go down to the dam on our way out of town. Kind of explore around a little bit. Gonna head back down towards Flagstaff. I checked into boat rides too. You can still get a boat ride on the lake here. I'm not gonna do it this trip, but I'll probably come back here maybe later in the year. This fall or something. I'd love to go out there and see, especially the canyons. <laughs> I mean, it's still history, no matter what. It's all history. That's a day use uh, area right there on the left. You know, heading out of here, I was up there about a year or so ago. There's a big overlook. We'll get a bird's eye view of everything up there. Okay, make a right here. We have to go clear up to the main highway. which is 89. Ooh, here's a little pull-off. Let's stop. Get a better picture of the campground. It's right off to the right. There it is. You can see all the spots. I mean, there's a lot of them. And quite a bit of day use area there, too. No matter what, this is a beautiful area to come to. Don't ever quit coming. There's that big resort down there. Hotel, resort. The sun's just coming up. Supposed to get a bunch of wind coming in. But you can see how big the camp area is. Huge. Alright, let's go up to that overlook. Hard to believe Memorial Day's right around the corner. <laughs> oh man. This year is screaming by so far. Here's the entry. I'm thinking about in June. Maybe. I don't know yet. Going up through Monument Valley. But it might be too hot then. I might wait to fall too. Because that's on the other side of Page. Heading north. Kind of snakes you up uh, through southern Utah. Clear up into Colorado and all that. Still trying to come up with an exact plan for travel. Kind of hard with fuel being up so high. 
Okay, here's Highway 89. That big overlook is about a mile away. Here it is here. Looks like no one's out here. This is why I like getting out early. No crowds, no traffic, no nothing. <laughs> Actually, those clouds are kind of nice. It's keeping the temperature down. Yep, we are the only ones here. All right, get parked. Take a sneak peek. Here's a place for a day use. Let's come up here and have your picnic. What's it say? Hard Rock Libraries. About the all the landscape, but there you can see way out, way down there, there's the campground. Right down there. Then you also can see the water lines of the lake way out. Kind of cool. Good view from up here. A little bit of greenery around. There's uh, the marina. But you can see how empty this thing is. I mean, <laughs> history. I don't think anyone ever dreamed it, it empty like this. All the reservoirs, Colorado River, plus, like the guy said last night, they're sacrificing Lake Mead. To save Lake Powell. Way down there is a dam. We're going to stop there on the way out. They got really good access. You can get pretty close and get good video. All right, let's go. We're about a hundred and a little over a hundred miles from Flagstaff up here. Take 89 all the way back when we leave town. Page, it's not a huge town. They got a Walmart, got a lot of hotels, motels. It's more of a tourist place. And it's all part of the Indian uh, reservation. Navajo, I believe. Okay, get back on the highway. High Plains Desert up here. Elevation, we're up pretty good. It's definitely snow country. You get cold and snow here. From the campground into town, it's, what, four or five miles. Not very far at all. It's a way station for truckers there on the right. There's also another little campground I've seen a lot of rigs at. I don't think it's free. It's up here on the right. This is the other entrance down here to where we were. Yep. Wow, look at that guy. <laughs> In a hurry. See who those rigs are up on the right? That's a little campground as well. Well, we'll head to the dam first. Maybe we'll check that out later. Come back, do a drive through. A lot of people, you can boondock at the Walmart overnight. A lot of people go there and stay. Right there left, that's the other entrance. Take you clear back into the marina and campground. 
here's the little road to get back to that campground right there. Cool. All right. Let's go see Glen Canyon Dam. Here it is. Look at that, they're watering their grass during a drought. <laughs> Good example, huh? Jeez. And it's running down the pavement. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Ought to send this video to them, huh? Look at that. Okay, well, let's check out the dam. Carl Hayden Visitor Center. It's not open. Too early. This bridge, look at it. <laughs> that thing is bolted into the rock. There's part. We'll go around the backside too. You can get a better view of the Glen Canyon Dam. Look how they bolt, bolted that bridge straight into the rock. Man. You don't realize it until you dry it, until you look at it. Isn't that something? Alright, let's go around the backside. I ought to tell that guy to turn the sprinklers off, huh? There's a water shortage. Look at it, it's running down the pavement there. All right, well, let's see what I need to do here. That's one way. Let me go back here and park, and then we'll check out the backside. Better views back here anyway. This looks good. Ain't going to be here long. Back here you can really see how massive this Glen Canyon Dam is. This is my fourth trip here over the years. Now you can see how big it is. Wow, look at the water lines, huh? The workers, they drive right on top of the dam, park out there. What was this thing built in the 50s or 60s, something like that? Way down, you can really see the face of it. Look all the water puddled here, too. They just pumping water all over their green grass during a drought. <laughs> oh, man. Here you go. Now, look at that bridge. That is way down there. <laughs> oh, man. Been there a long time. There's really not that many bridges that cross the Colorado River. They're few and far between. Just the sheer straight down to the rock but look at the front of this Glen Canyon Dam that goes way down there that is some kind of engineering it's a marvel by itself to see it way over there there's a day use area won't we'll drive over there too I've been over there. Kind of cool. Free to go over there. 
They got hiking trails over there too. But there you go. There's a pretty good look. Glen Canyon Dam. But they said they're going to hold water back so it can keep generating power. But that's going to hurt a good old Lake Mead downstream. Look at that guy down there fishing. He must know the good spot right there. <laughs> Catching dinner. What do you say? Let's head over to the other side. Still cloudy. I thought it might burn off. But they're claiming winds up to 40 miles an hour. Hopefully I miss that. Don't hit, run into that going down to Flagstaff. Okay, here we go across the bridge. You know, once you've seen how it just bolted into the rock, you kind of wonder. Yeah, I've been here a long time. But that is way down there, crossing the Colorado River. I believe it's about a quarter mile up here. We'll take a little dirt road. It'll get us back down to uh, that day use area. Here it is. Page is right up the road. We're almost in town. These are all hiking trails down in here. Hike all over the place. Once again, I'd come up here anytime. Water or no water. Beautiful area. Massive recreation. I definitely want to get a boat ride on this lake. I think just to see all them canyon walls from way down on the water level would just be something really cool. Here it is here. Big day use area. I'm the only one down here. Last time I was here, there's quite a few people. Little restrooms here. Alright, what do you say? Let's check it out. Well, wander down here. Pretty good. Whoa! <laughs> if I don't fall over in here. Oh, there's three boats fishing. Look at them guys. Right along that wall. They must know. They know where the fish are. Wow, now you can really see. that. This should all be water. You really see what well, they call it, the bathtub ring or whatever. Oh, look at that on the back side of the dam. You can, now you can see the intakes. It was higher last year when I was here. I'll have to look at the pictures from last year to now. But now you can see the top of the intakes on the back side of the dam. Wonder what they fish for here. Zoom in on the what they're using for bait. <laughs> well, they got three, four people in each boat. 
Pretty cool. Pretty peaceful down there. But yeah, look at the backside. See those intakes? They weren't there last year when I was here. You couldn't see them. Huh. Scary. Alright, well. There you go. There's Glen Canyon Dam. Lake Powell. May of 2022. Well, cool. Maybe I'll go back over and check that campground on the way out of town. There's a Walmart here. I need to get a few supplies. Then we're going to head back down towards Flagstaff. Maybe even do a little boondocking around the Grand Canyon. We haven't done that yet. How's that sound? Journey continues. Talk soon.